Sustainable Economics, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 305. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 305, January 27th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self replicating, sustainable teacher demonstration hubs and communities and villages and ultimately cities as a pathway to a sustainable planet for the benefit of everyone. And today what I'd like to talk about is sustainable economics, because this is a big part of it. Uh, a lot of people right now are really struggling. In the United States, which is one of the wealthiest countries in the world, there's still a lot of people struggling. And if you look at third world countries, the difference between how we're living and how most of the rest of the world living is living is crazy. It's absolutely crazy, and we want to address that. We want to provide a model, not only for people within the United States, but obviously for people around the world to create a sustainable economic situation that provides for their basic needs and sufficiently, not just for their basic needs, but provides a life of abundance sufficiently that they can help other people as well. And so this sustainable economics idea is a big foundation of our project, and everything that you see happening in the background of this video is is what we're creating to support that. We're creating seven different sustainable village models as well as a duplicable city center and uh, highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, uh, social architecture, the food, the energy, the housing. We're putting all these things together to create sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that will provide a sustainable economic situation model method for people to free themselves from debt or in countries where where it's beyond debt it's just abject poverty to create a way of living that is not that to create a way of living that meets and exceeds the needs of people and their families so that they can give to others and that's what we see as sustainable economics it's a it's a 180 shift from the everyone for themselves mentality to how can we help each other and in helping each other and working together and living cooperatively and collaboratively, how can we provide better for ourselves, provide better for our families, provide better for our communities, and ultimately provide better for the entire planet. And so in one sense, you could say it's selfish humanitarianism or philanthropy. Because really, in providing for people's individual needs better and in a sustainable way, we are also helping to support the entire planet. And through the teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub model that we're creating, we are also creating a pathway for self-replication that others can apply as well. And the more the model is built and constructed, the faster it will replicate because there will be more open source options for people to replicate, more ideas out there for people to build off of. And this is why we call what we're doing open source project launch blueprinting because it's not just open source. We're not just open sourcing food, energy, housing, education, and economic models, fulfilled living models, social architecture, and stewardship. We are open sourcing the process of open sourcing these things. So our sustainable economics model is to free share, open source and free share everything that we're doing, not just for replication, but to launch additional open source projects as well. Everything that we're doing is designed so it can be replicated as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. And you can see what some of these hubs look like in the background of the video here. But it is also designed to launch completely different projects so that everything can be implemented modularly or as a complete village, and those modular components can be expanded into things that we haven't even thought of, because our goal is to evolve it. Our goal is to improve it. Our goal is to help people to create things even better than what it is that we're creating, to open source and free share and, pr and promote those projects as well, so that we can create a better world for everybody. So this is what we think has the potential to transform the world positively and permanently for everybody. And we are open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions 
for replication and we will build one community as a place that people can visit, people can experience, and so that we can share this idea of living with the consciousness and with the goals of creating everything that we do for the highest good of all life on our planet. And we think that this is a world changing idea. And so our team now, at this point, we've had over 300 volunteers work with our project. We are in our ninth year of development and we're a nonprofit organization. We're a 100% volunteer organization. I'm not paid for anything that we're doing here. Neither is anybody else on our team. We're creating this because we want to live this way and we want other people to be able to live this way as well. And because we are clear that a world that works for everybody benefits everybody. And that includes us, of course. But it includes everybody else as well. And so we think sustainable economics is necessary. The time is now. And so with all that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable economics. Check it out. Take a look. Here you go. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly details. This week, we updated the design to test a nine foot ceiling. You can see some of this work here. The core team also created this action list of everything needed to be ready for the crowdfunding campaign and complete village construction. You can see this action item list here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 30th week volunteering and now helping with the Earth Bay Village materials and costs. This week, she continued updating the materials, quantities, costs, and reference links, and further refined her AutoCAD drawing of one dome to better calculate the Earth Bay and cement quantities. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 37th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was continuing to create diagrams illustrating the wall section assembly, making changes to the under loft lighting box, and further simplifying the pieces and identifying more areas needed to be tested in SketchUp 3D. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 34th week helping with the Earthbag Village render editions. This week he completed revisions and additions to this view of the complete village looking south. This is on the website now too. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bay Village. Here's weekly update 146 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was working on the furniture elements in the kitchen and bathroom dome. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued building the new page sharing the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, stains, varnishes, and sealants. We created the social media image and finished all the parts related to the best paints. You can see some of this work here. The core team also updated the Duplical City Center sprinkler and emergency systems design page and tutorial by replacing all the graphics referencing 3.5 inch pipes and their calculations with graphics showing the much more readily available 4 inch pipes and fittings. You can see some of this work here. And the core team continued with week 3 of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the Duplical City Center sprinkler and emergency systems designs agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week we reviewed video and took notes on what Zachary Weiss had to say on the topic. You can see some of these notes here. Dipti Don Darker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 110th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was integrating several rounds of requested changes to the AutoCAD layouts. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also completed their fifth week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week, they made adjustments to the layout to improve circulation, added more furniture and fixtures, made adjustments to the seating and storage, and created the first round of renders. You can see some of this work here. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, continued helping finish the City Center HVAC designs. This week, he focused on AutoCAD updates, finding installation manuals, and helping with some of the cost analysis details. 
some of which you can see here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his eighth week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints. This week's focus was continuing the process of integrating the lead points details related to paints, stains, and varnishes. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we updated the fuel, storage, and goat details and construction summaries. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his fourth week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team wrote all the sets of ads for all the AdWords campaigns we've been researching all the keywords for. You can see some of this work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 16th week as part of the marketing team. This week, he added additional keywords for the lesson plans for life in resource-based economy pages, and then did keyword research for the open source, thermal leg, open source AutoCAD template, and highest good food pages. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Jordan Miller, web developer, and Tyler Calvert, full-stack software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team continued the transition to Redux and started exploring future development features, changed reducers to return empty objects slash arrays instead of null, added the leaderboard to the time log page, and started working on giving admins the ability to change time logs for anyone. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of sustainable economics and sustainable models that support sustainable economics. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And if you'd like to help out, you can visit our helping page or the easiest way to help out is to subscribe to our YouTube channel or to share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. That includes, of course, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Reddit, uh, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And of course, I like to always say thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. If you're somebody who's donated to our project, we're a 100% unpaid volunteer team. So all your donations go towards forwarding our global open source mission. And uh, and so we really appreciate that. It makes a difference. If you're somebody that sent us an email or made a comment on one of our videos, we appreciate that too. Feedback, feedback is how we improve and grow everything that we're doing. So that input gets integrated. Every email is read and integrated uh, to the best of our ability into what it is that we're doing. And I think that's it. So until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.